Hi, I'm Rev Myron. I'm a minister through Pathways of Light and of course a miracle student for a long time. One of the things that I'm doing right now is making these videos on the daily lessons. Uh, today, we're looking at lesson 339. I will receive whatever I request. So I'm gonna read the lesson and then I'm gonna share with you uh, what came into my mind after reading it, after asking Jesus to clarify for me. So this lesson says, no one desires pain, but he can think that pain is pleasure. No one would avoid his happiness, but he can think that joy is painful, threatening and dangerous. Everyone will receive what he requests, but he can be confused indeed about the things he wants, the state he would attain. What can he then request that he would want when he receives it? He has asked for what will frighten him and bring him suffering. Let us resolve today to ask for what we really want and only this, that we may spend this day in fearlessness without confusing pain with joy or fear with love. Father, this is your day. It is a day in which I would do nothing by myself, but hear your voice in everything I do, requesting only what you offer me, accepting only thoughts you share with me. So no one desires pain, but what if I can't tell the difference between pain and pleasure? What if I have experienced pain and thought it was pleasure for so long that I no longer know the difference? My first question was, how is it that I'm asking for pain when I think I'm asking for pleasure? But on reflection, I began to see my error. I'm asking to be separate from God and from my brothers. I must have thought that this would make me happy. Obviously, I thought that having a separate will would make me happy. Clearly, I was wrong about those desires, and I see that now. I know that I was wrong about what makes me happy. I know this from years of observing the connection between my desire for separation and the suffering I experience. I requested an experience as a body so I could be something different than I was created. And I discovered pain, suffering, and death instead of the blissful eternity I had. I wanted to make my own world with my own laws. What I discovered was chaos, where I used to know only peace. I discovered loneliness, where I once knew only unity. For a while, I refused to concede that I made an error. It seemed to me that if I kept trying, I would surely succeed. So I came back again and again, trying to make my plan for happiness work, but it never has. I tried to find love through secret bargains and only found attack and defense. I tried to project my guilt and fear onto others and onto the world, but it went nowhere. And I only caused myself more distress in the effort. This is the lifetime in which I discovered that there's a difference between pain and joy. I know now that it is my thoughts and beliefs that source the world and that I can change those beliefs. It's through forgiveness that I do this. And my healed mind is showing me a healed world. From there, it is just a step more to find myself in heaven. And I don't even have to worry about that step. It will be done for me. So thank you so much for watching my video and sharing this lesson with me. And I will talk to you tomorrow.